Okay, this is a test of the uh, DX200. Uh, I've got brand new Energizer Titanium batteries in here, about 1.6 volts. Uh, I've got the DX laser in something called a chill cell. That's this little thing here. This actually fits into a wine cooler. It's very, very conductive. Uh, sucks away a lot of heat, so I'm hoping it's going to help the DX because these things definitely work better when they're cold. So we're going to try now. Looks like I got about one on the meter here, so I'm just going to trim that down a bit. And let's see. There we go. Thanks, Ken, for making a great pot to adjust that with. Okay, here we go. Fresh batteries in a DX200. It's about 219 was the max. Going down to about 208 now. Holding steady at 208, 209. That's yeah, pretty good. This thing actually puts out uh, 200 plus milliwatts. Starting to heat up now, so you'll see it dropping. Won't hold that for long. Long enough to pop some balloons and light some matches. Uh, keeping it cold is definitely helping. This thing staying up in the 180s. Uh, Usually it wouldn't last for more than 10 seconds at a high uh, power before it would drop, but it seems to be holding there, so maybe cooling these things is the trick. Uh, maybe if Igor comes up with a nice uh, Peltier cooling system, uh, we might have a very powerful, usable laser for really 120 bucks from DX. It's a pretty good deal. Okay, there's your proof, guys.